So one of the things we were talking about on the outset of this video is uh, one of the benefits to this machine is for a customer who's trying to manage compaction and think about compaction. So well researched topic, compaction is probably a major yield robber in, in everywhere that we grow crops. Uh, when we're talking about corn or really any plant for that matter, we basically want a 50-50 ratio of solid matter so that's the mineral and organic matter part of soil to pore space 50 50 and so that pore space would be water and air and really what's happening when we're compacting soils is we're eliminating some of that pore space so instead of a 50 50 maybe we're uh, 75 25 and so one of the tools we have to manage compaction is uh, working with tire pressures or moving to a system like this with tracks and so this has been researched pretty well by John Deere. So what, what are some of the observations they made in their, their studies there? Yeah, thanks, thanks a lot, Danny. So yes, talk, talking about uh, compaction, tracks often are brought into, uh, into the conversation. So mm -hmm. uh, really what I wanna do there is kinda do, you know, tell you kinda some, some benchmarking type uh, stats, uh, looking at track configurations versus uh, comparable wheel type applications. So if we look at something like a, uh, an 8RX with 18-inch uh, tracks, which would be a very common mm -hmm. configuration right. in, in row crop country, uh, really what we're talking about, uh, when comparing that against a, an 8R uh, wheeled configuration, uh, also configured for row crop, we would be looking at up to 40% more uh, footprint on the ground uh, combined with contact pressures uh, between 10 and 39 uh, percent. Now that's really going to be dependent on what kind of air pressure you're running in those tires. So, so that's why it's a, a very yeah. wide range between between. So 10 an and increased footprint, a larger footprint, and reduced ground contact pressure uh, with this track system. Uh, absolutely, and like I said, that's that's the 8RX versus the wheeled system. Also, very noteworthy to compare the 8RX versus our traditional two-track system, right. the 8RT, because there are some differences there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, overall uh, footprint on the ground, believe it or not, is 23%, up to 23% wow. larger, uh, with 18-inch tracks also on the two-track system. And if you look at contact pressure, the 8RX is actually gonna run 14% less than you would with a comparable 18-inch two-track system. So it uh, might be not what you would expect, uh, mm -hmm. to get out of out of a four track system but it is a difference no that's terrific so definitely some benefits there from a yeah. compaction it, perspective if you are looking uh as compaction being your number one driver uh the john deere 8 rx series is uh the the best uh option that we currently have in our portfolio mm -hmm. we're back on the rear axle here want to take a closer look at the track system joe uh it looks pretty solid here uh what are some of the specifics that we should maybe highlight here yeah, Danny, so we, we have a lot of power we need to transfer to the ground uh, with these uh, 8R RX trackers. And it's gonna start all right here with our uh, with our drive wheel. It's uh, definitely a beefy unit, which is gonna help us uh, transfer that directly, power directly from the axles. Right. And really to make sure our undercarriage is gonna, gonna distribute the power evenly to the ground, uh, we've got polyurethane mid rollers. Mm -hmm. and, right. yep. and uh, really the, the mid rollers are isolated here so that what we can do is conform uh, to the crown of the road. So that's gonna help both with power distribution evenly and also is gonna help us to reduce heat uh, coming off of these tracks. Excellent, so a lot, a lot of engineering, a lot of thought uh, into this design here. So Joe, we've moved back up to the front of the tractor here to take a look at uh, some features and specifically talk about uh, the durability and some different options uh, when it comes to axles. Yeah, absolutely. So, so the one thing I want to call out here is, is the fact that, uh, as mentioned earlier, this tractor was designed from the ground up with tracks in mind. So this is not tracks that were put onto a, a typical 8R series tractor. Really what's involved with that though when it comes to the axles is these are a beefy 1700 series axle, uh, which, is going to, which is going to more than withstand the load of, of taking the power that these tractors have. And, and getting that track that power to the ground through our our track system so the 1700 series axles are a very beefy axle the other thing i want to call out here is um and we do have a lot of 
different uh, width spacings available. But one thing I want to call out here is, is we can also adjust the spacing if needed, if customer needs change, or if, uh, if we're talking about resale down the road, um, these these joints really are removable, and you can you can put different size spacers in there. So it uh, it is a possibility down the road as yeah, well. Joe. So one of the things we often hear when you're talking about track tractors is a discussion about ride quality. So from the perspective of the all new 8RX, uh, what's the story? Yeah, thanks, Danny. So the so the the cab suspension uh, we have on this tractor. It's going to enable you to operate faster and comfortably and uh, will help you to maintain an excellent ride quality. We've been talking a lot of different configurations with this piece of equipment, a lot of different use cases really on the farm, Joe. So, so what are some of the specifics on the options there when it comes to tracks, width, as well as uh, spacing of uh, axles? Yeah, so thanks a lot, Danny. So really, we're going to focus on, uh, you know, from a track width perspective. Uh, on the front, we can get either 18 or 24-inch tracks. On the back, we can actually go 18, 24, or 30-inch tracks. Uh, only rule of thumb is you, you can either run the, the same width on both or narrower on the front, uh, whatever the, the customer preference might be. With respect to the width, uh, we do have uh, four different uh, width options available. We have 76-inch, 80-inch, 88 and 120 inch so really the punchline there is you can have uh, a lot of different widths depending on your operation and uh, we also have the ability to have excellent stability even in hillsides